ideals like peace, freedom, and justice, they get packed up, but we cannot go home. Well, I'm not going home. I'm going to get on my boat, and I'm going up river, and I'm going to kick that son of a bitch bison's ass so hard that the next bison wannabe is going to feel it. Now, who wants to go home, and who wants to go with me? Welcome to the Rated G for Gamers podcast, episode 215. Uh, Before we start the show, we want to thank all of our wonderful fans who have supported us. And if you want to show support for Rated G, you can find us on Patreon at patreon.com slash Rated G for Gamers. For as little as $1 a month, you can help support Rated G. Uh, Everything that you give goes back into the show so we can make this bigger and better and provide more content to you guys. Uh, you can also find us on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Rated G for Gamers. And finally, please rate and review us on iTunes and Spotify. We appreciate all the love. I'm your host, Dave Rutino, and this is my co-host, Dan, the podcaster formerly known as Classic Robinson. What's going on, man? Uh, Dan, I, I have to tell you, I have been the most productive person I have ever been if you measure it in video game completion. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Uh-huh, okay. uh-huh. Right, you, you, can, you, can, you can almost now be the completionist. I can almost now be the completionist. Wow, let's not, let's not get that crazy. Let's not get crazy. Listen, listen, I beat them. I don't also complete them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, get in, we'll get into a little bit, a little bit, a little bit out later in the games that we've been playing and all that. Just want to tease that right there. But I've been, uh, I've been knocking them out of the park, man. I don't know about you. But I've been going insane being indoors for so yeah. long. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm okay. I'm 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 not I'm not because there's so much media out there, right? You got you got Netflix, you got Hulu, you got Disney Plus, you got Amazon Prime. It's like you have so much, but then so little. It's like you have so many, you don't even know what to choose from. Like, oh, I would... you have that? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 hard to choose, right? There's 29 different bottles of ketchup, and you don't know which one to pick. That's a common problem. I would love to see the Twilight Zone, but I don't want to pay for a subscription just for one show. The CBS All right? Access, yeah. CBS All Access. Um, they they have the new uh, the new teaser trailer for us, the Saved by the Bell, the the reboot, right? Oh. With, uh, with Slater and 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 Zach and. Oh my God! Like, I haven't uh, seen it yet. I gotta take a yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, they're back in this. They're kids that's in high school. Oh, uh, see, see, that's yeah. like that's like kind of neat because you bring that because obviously they can't be teenagers anymore. So what are you going to do? But but you can still get them in the show, right? They've kind of matured. Yeah. And wow. it's like Slater is like, listen, I know how you guys feel. Listen, you know, me and my best friend fought over a girl. Oh, uh-huh. wait, uh, your father. I mean, your father used to fight over your mother. <laughs> but then, <laughs> you know, it. it, it I want to see it, but then I don't want to. I don't want to subscribe to the Peacock uh, streaming service. Oh my God! It's it's specifically on Peacock. Oh, yeah, because right. yeah, because NBC owns it. Yeah, it's just not. No, it's not enough. I got Disney enough. Plus. Mm-hmm. I've been watching The Mandalorian. I got two more. I got two more episodes to be caught up. Yeah, um, yeah. Maybe, How you digging the watch. Baby Yoda? Are you about it or not about it? I'm about it. Okay, I'm about it. Nice. I love the show. I'm nice. hooked. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm gonna keep Disney Plus to see season two. So yeah, I wish Disney yeah. Plus is it. It needs more shows, but it just started. So I can understand why, right? It's it's it's. I'm not really inclined to go watch you know old anime cartoons from you know like animated cartoons from back in the early '90s. I don't want to watch mm-hmm. Little Mermaid right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I did watch Lion King. It was oh, awesome. King. Beyonce King's was terrible, classic. but that's another story. Lion King's. Co- oh wait, you're talking about the new Lion King? Yeah, that's a. Oh movie. oh, I think you meant the original, the OG one. Yeah, no, I I listen. I don't want to. I don't want to go off on a tangent or a rant, but I'm just going to say, like, 
when you do things like that, when you remake those things, you have to put a new spin in them, right? And there's been three so far, I think, right? Or four, right? They did, they did, they did Aladdin. They did Beauty and the Beast. They're doing Mulan and The Lion King, right? And maybe even The Jungle Book. Did they do that too? They did. They did yeah. The Jungle Book. Yeah. And like some of them are just shot for shot remakes just with live action characters. And it's like, no, you have to bring a different spin to it. Like, like how are you going to tell this tale in a different way? I don't want to I don't want to see the same thing just with better visuals, you know? Is with CG instead of like uh, animated characters. You know, I'm cool with the CG. Just leave Beyonce out of it. Just let her sing the song. Mm -hmm. You know, my only issue Mm -hmm. with Beyonce is she was like George Clooney. This is the only time I'll ever put George Clooney and Beyonce. Beyonce, explain to me how Beyonce was like George Clooney. When George Clooney was Batman. Oh, yeah. The issue with him as Batman was, hey, I'm Bruce Wayne. Hey, I'm Batman. There was no... There was no range. You know, he's supposed to be like, no, I'm Batman. And he was mm-hmm. like, hey, I'm Batman. Mm-hmm. It's okay, Robin. We got this. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, he was, he sounded just like Bruce Wayne. There was no difference. Like, Beyonce, yeah. Yeah. Beyonce in the movie, it was like, you know, oh my God, we found you. Right? You would think there would be a little bit of range. It was just like, oh my God, we found you. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. was, you know, dangerous coming. Hey, Simba, we got to get this done. Danger is here. Like, there was no, like, there was no range in her voice. And she, yeah. she, was, she wasn't playing a character. She was playing Beyonce. Right, 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 right. She can sing. Can't she, did really a great, she did a great job on the soundtrack. Of just course. With, 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 with the, the main song. Just right, don't right. be in the movie. Well, a, a lesser known character. She, you know, she right. could have played maybe right. the mom. Or, or. Or maybe just have a better director. Because I've seen bad actors in good movie roles and have them do a very good job. And I a hundred percent credit that to the director. Right. Really? Yeah. A hundred percent. Well, I mean, speaking of, speaking of a uh, saved by the bell, Elizabeth Berkeley was in this movie called uh, Roger Dodger, which is a, which is a very good movie. Uh, indie kind of like indie film with uh, Jesse Eisenberg and whatnot. Um, and she is in that movie and she does a admirable job uh, as an actress. Right. And I credit that 100 percent to the director. Right. Uh, I thought you were going to say she was in the movie Showgirls. I mean, she was. <laughs> and I'll, and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> oh. So um, I just before we before we really like get into it, I just mm-hmm. want to say. Uh, rest in peace to you know the people who've lost any family members or, if you've, or any friends uh, to the zombie apocalypse, as mm-hmm. we uh, you know we'll call it CV. Um, I know I've it's personally touched me, you know, where I've had people die in my life Same. over the last couple of weeks. That's been tough. Yeah. Uh, it's always good to do the show to take my mind off it and play video games as well. Yeah, uh, as an escape. Yeah. And uh, you know, video game the video game industry isn't exempt from this too. We we've. Uh, you know, uh, the voice actor who played uh, Pepe uh, from uh, Star Fox 64, mm-hmm. uh, he's mm-hmm. passed away because of uh, CV. CV, yeah. The original, an original uh, actor from uh, the original uh, Resident Leon Evil Kennedy? 2 yeah. uh, voice actor, he also has passed away. It's not confirmed if he passed away from the CV or not, right. but, right. you know, we also lost him the same week. Yeah, so, and they, they were both like, they they were not that old, right? Well, they Which were is, older. I went. I, they I were went older, home. but not like you know. They weren't in their seventies or anything. You know, they were, they uh, were like uh, uh, the the guy who played Pepe uh, or uh, the Leon uh, Kennedy guy. I think was fifties uh, or sixties at best. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, people people are dying pretty young now. I mean, the people I've lost personally. I mean, I don't want to get too much into it. We're mm-hmm. we're definitely on the older side, mm-hmm. um, and you know. Because of what's out there, uh, they they you know because of their age and whatever ailments they had, they couldn't really fight it off. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know, people people are passing away of all ages. Doesn't matter how old you are. This thing mm-hmm. this thing does not discriminate. No, um, no. So I just wanted to put that out there. Just rest in peace, and my mm-hmm. condolences go out to anybody who's lost anybody. Yeah. So uh, also, my condolences go to Disney because. Right after this, Netflix has become like the go-to choice. Like everyone is like everyone talks about Netflix. I mean, you have exclusive Tiger, shows Tiger like King, Tiger baby. King, mm-hmm. and we talked about that. Netflix now is more is, is valued more than Disney. It's, it's well for now. 
And that's right. a large part because the Disney's parks are close and they're not getting any re- uh, revenue from that. Right. And the, the movies aren't coming out in the theater, so everything's coming on to their streaming service. Right. Well, no, no. They only put one movie out on the streaming service. They put oh. all the other movies back. Oh, um, sure. The streaming service is, is brand new. I don't even think it's a year old yet, right? It just, no. It just started no, back in either. November. Yeah, so, yeah. So, you About know, they're still trying to build that, get that off the ground. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's it's kind of it's just crazy how they say that Netflix is more valuable it's bigger than, than Disney. Disney. Yeah, right, right. Because every single park, like they have, oh, well, I don't know if the one in China is still in operation, let alone open. But there was one in China. Uh, the Euro Disney obviously down, Tokyo Disney down, uh, and then the two in America uh, obviously not open now. So yeah, it's wild. It's wild to think about. I know that's that's. That's crazy. Like, well, you know, like the, you know, the parks are their bread and butter and then their their whole movie line, the whole production is all like shut down. So Netflix has like a ton of stuff. They had a ton of stuff drop like the, uh, you know, like Ozark season three came out recently, uh, which was already in the can. Tiger King, which was already in the can. And that finally came out. That was kind of blowing up. They just have it. They just have a ton of really good content right now. Well. You know, did you hear that they're trying to like open reopen movie theaters soon? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're everyone. Everyone's now talking about like, all right, what is our plan for opening back up? We, we can't really sustain being indoors, right? The businesses can't survive for that long without without customers, without being open. There's a lot of places that require you to be there that are not a Netflix service. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, it, maybe you can make it work, but I feel like it's going to be. I, I feel like how could you make that work? Like everyone needs to sit six seats apart that's from a, each other. That's exactly right. You have to sit at least three, three, three seats apart or whatever it is. You only let it's like a, a third or a quarter capacity, like whatever it is that's safe that will also give the movie theaters like some revenue enough to like make it worthwhile to stay open you know if you can strike that balance like maybe and then you have to wear a mask while you're still in there right and who mask i think i think i think everything still is would be mandatory as in the social distancing the six feet away they they wouldn't be able they then you know movie theaters make a lot of money on uh at the concession stands so they would not have they they wouldn't be able to sell any food I mean, uh, drinks yeah yeah that's be realistic who's gonna keep their mask on if they're eating popcorn yeah, well, I mean, you 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 could get the straw underneath the mask. Okay, but that's for drink. That but we're that, that you could do food. for the drink. The popcorn, I I don't know. <laughs> you got me on that one. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 like it's like crazy because once you start doing a little bit, everyone's gonna everyone's gonna like you give them an inch and everyone's gonna take a mile. They're gonna go, oh, I can go out again. Ah, uh, boom. And they're just they're just going to be going to clubs and drinking and 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 like going out and just it's going to be reckless because everyone's doing that now, right? People are going out now and they're people are still having parties, people are still getting together. I'm like, what are you doing? Like this is not it's not safe and it's not healthy. You do not need to be out. Don't be out. Killing me. Ugh. So anyway, anyway, on a strange <laughs> note, just mm-hmm. you know, pivot real quick. Yeah, yeah. Did you did you see that? Uh, did you see that cyberpunk uh 2077 themed xbox one x i did it looks i, thought that, it looks I just pretty... saw that earlier today that looks crazy it looks it looks uh looks uh looks like badass it looks cyberpunky it, it, it does look cyberpunky for sure for sure i well, it's, it's coming out in the summer they don't know how much it co- they haven't released a price yet but they have uh reduce the price of the xbox one x to 300 from 400 to 300 so we don't know if this is going to be the same price or more Mm -hmm. as the regular one so we'll see i'm gonna well because it doesn't come with the game but i would be it would be nice if it it would be nice if it it was preloaded you just couldn't play it (laughs) right 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 well i'm sure you're gonna get like a download until september yeah i'm I'm sure you're gonna get like a download code for free with the game i don't see why they wouldn't do that right uh, but the game's not coming out till like October, I think. Uh, no, if September. it, oh September, if it, well, it, if it doesn't get delayed, right, 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 because of this, the, the whole, the whole zombie apocalypse. Who knows? But that's 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 the date that it moved back to because they needed to polish it some more. They had some bugs they had to work out. Understandable, we, you know, we knew that, and that that was already stated before this. All this stuff went down. 
Um, that being said, if it comes with the game, I, I think it's going to be like 400 bucks. Wow. Well, I, I, mean, I don't know. think it's going to come with the game. I think it'll be maybe, um, it, it, it'll, it'll, it, you know what? It'll be 400 bucks without yeah. the game. Without the game. Oh, wow. Without the game. Wow. Yeah. Um, because it's coming out in the summer, I doubt they're going to do any. I mean, if that was the case, then why put out in the summer? Why just put out in September when the game comes out? So. Uh, I, I, I guess they want to try and get people's money before the, all like the buzz about the next generation consoles, right? Because I'm as much as I want this, like it is really cool. I don't have an additional, let's say, four hundred dollars to spend on this right now. I, I do have four or five hundred dollars to spend on the next generation Xbox, though, right? But I can't, I can't get that in this. It's just not, it's just not possible. Well, I got six hundred dollars from the next <laughs> Xbox One X. Oh well, maybe Xbox we'll Series see. X. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. So, Dave. Mm-hmm. And for the most part, garage sales are probably not happening this summer, right? Mm-hmm. So that's gone. I've mm-hmm. been I've been in the house and I've just been ordering stuff on eBay and Amazon, which I'll talk about in later shows when I actually get get a chance to you know when I actually get here and I have mm-hmm. them in hand. Mm-hmm. Um, but one thing I ordered that came late, and I told you. I'm I, I'm going to talk about it on the show, and I may surprise you. with My thoughts is I got final. I finally have Final Fantasy VII remake for PS4. Yeah. It came in. Amazon shipped oh. it a little bit late, about four oh. days late. Uh-huh. Five no one two about five days late. So I mean, I mean that's understandable. You know, they're 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 prioritizing essential items in this case. You know, uh, food and and gloves and hand sanitizer and all that stuff, household equipment. So yeah, you know. Uh, a couple days to wait is fine because we've been we've been uh, we've been uh, waiting since 2013 when they first initially put a demo out on PS3 hardware, I guess, or like a teaser around the PS3 time, and everyone was like up in arms like crazy about it. So it's been it's been a while. It's been a while. Um, no, yeah. that was that was 20 2013. That was 2012 or 2011. Oh, maybe yeah, it even was, earlier. It, it was it was it was early 2000, 2010s. It was like two thousand. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It's almost been it's almost been ten years since they ended up teasing us with that. Well, it was it was just trailer. it wasn't a trailer. It was just a sort of a demo to see how it would go. And right. They had no plans on making it, and then in twenty fifteen, right. uh, E three PS on the PlayStation. Uh, then they then they had the stage, they announced that it was actually yeah, yeah. making a remake. Yeah. So. Yeah. And it was it was so weird because like everybody everybody wanted it. There's 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 no reason it wouldn't do well, right? Everyone would have paid like whatever for it. Fans were banging at the gate. And now finally, you know, they wised up and said, "Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do it." Because like people, they they like they like do they do remasters and remakes like a year after the thing comes out, right? It was just on the previous console, or it just came out, and now we're gonna like remat. We we're gonna remaster and remake it. This game is like thirty, almost like thirty years old. Or it came out in nineteen ninety seven. So whatever the math is on that, right? And now they finally they're like, all right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Well, oh. I got the collector's edition. Nice, um, nice with the steel book and the art, the art book, book and all that. Mm-hmm. It comes with an art book, steel case. Mm-hmm. Um, it definitely is two discs. So you pop in oh, yeah. one disc. To, I guess game. Has has all the game and then you pop in the game disc. Mm-hmm. So uh, definitely, you know, this is the first, ne- you know, current gen game that that came mul- with multiple disc mm-hmm. uh, that I can think of. I can't think of another game. So it did take a, it took it took like a good thirty minutes. I think uh, Red Dead had two discs. Really, I can't. I don't, I don't I'm pretty remember. sure Red Dead had two discs. If I'm I gotta not check mistaken. that. I don't, I don't yeah. remember. I don't remember that. Yeah, it was it was a, it was a big game. Well, both um, of these games are big. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's like, that's like, if it's a if it's a a dual layer uh, Blu-ray disc, that's fifty gigs of compressed data uh, on two discs. So that's a hundred gigs of compressed data. That's insane. That's insane. Yeah. So you get anything during the zombie apocalypse? I did. Uh, I am on. I'm on a. I'm a man on a mission right now, Dan. So I picked up uh, Tetris DX, complete in box for the Game Boy Color. Uh, came in came in really good condition. I uh, posted it up to the Instagram and whatnot. Very happy about that. Uh, I am I am on a mission to get uh, not all of the Tetrises because 
like I mean, some of them like the uh, like the the uh, the Genesis version of Tetris, which I don't think actually came out. Well, I know there's only like six copies in known existence, so I'm never going to get that. And, that, and uh, two of them were with uh, the last gamer. <laughs> two of them with the last. Yeah, two of them were with the last gamer because he had some weird connection to Sega or whatever, and he was able to get a copy of it. Yeah, that 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 game is bananas expensive, so I'm never going to get that. But I want to get like I want to get all the Tetrises, right? All the Tetrises that are within reason. Um, and I have a bunch already, but I am I am definitely. On How about mission. this? Say you want to get all the textures that were actually released. Uh, sure, sure. I think that's I think that's pretty attainable. Most of them are pretty common. Most of them don't cost that much. Uh, most of them would be pretty easy to get complete in box. I think. You know, maybe some of the N sixty four ones, maybe a little bit pricey, uh, whatnot. But uh, yeah, yeah, because I love Tetris, and why not? You know. So yeah, so, so. I picked that up, and I got another possibly Tetris game coming next week, but, uh, you know, I'll tease that for that, so, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Dave, as we always try to start the show, but epically fail, Oh. what have you been playing, or, should I say, <laughs> what have you been beating? Ah, see? See? See, you know, Dan, you know. You know that I've been playing the Uncharted series. Uh, you know that I bought the PS3, uh, PS4, specifically the Nathan Drake Uncharted bundle. I really wanted that one. And I'm like, I never played these Uncharted games. Go ahead and play them. So by the time I got back into it, I was like in the early stages of two. I beat two. Started playing three. I beat three just before we got on the mics. Very excited. Uncharted 3 complete the Nathan Drake trilogy in the books. Done. And I have to say, I like three better than two. Ah, uh, yes. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm yes. Sorry. Yes. Finally. Finally. I like three better we than agree. two. We agree. I knew you would because you have this mm-hmm. thing with like in the third game in the series for some weird reason. Well, it, 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 I, I think, you, I think you each... love the, you, you love the, tr- you love the third game in all series for some sure. reason. I mean, I think, I think like they Except just kept, Final Fantasy. they just kept iterating. Well, Final Fantasy three, which was technically six. So Final Fantasy three in America was, uh, you know, my favorite. So. You know, but uh, but I but I but I think they kept iterating over the concept of modern day Indiana Jones. Right. And they kept doing the action scenes bigger and better. You know, the environments you go to, the storytelling, uh, just everything, I think, was like a little bit better, even like the game mechanics. Right. Um, they just kept adding like in new weapons and like new techniques. And I liked in three. I don't know if you could do this in the previous ones, but when you would like come up and grapple with a guy. And you do like the punch combo and then like you'd be able to knock him back and then pick up his weapon while it's like flying, flying out of his hands in the air. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Right. I haven't, I haven't played and tried it so long. I forgot about that. That was that was like super cool. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three. It's it's uh, it's uh, three, two, one. Two had some really good uh, uh, action scenes in it. You know, like we said last week, I think the uh, the kind of train sequence in the beginning. Uh, when you when you're like in the snow was incredible, um, but yeah no 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 it's good it's good it's good, and uh, I'm also playing uh, Professor Layton right the uh, the the first one in the series the DS one, so that's going along quite nicely. And um, I got into the uh, the Guilty Gear beta. They have a new Guilty Gear uh, Guilty Gear Strive. And my right God, now? is a beta out right now? I didn't even know. There is a beta out right now. You had to sign up for it. I think the beta goes until tomorrow. Well, thanks for letting me know, buddy. You have to sign up, Dan. Well, you didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you can watch me stream it if you want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't even think I was going to get in, but they're like, yeah, here you go. Here's here's a uh, beta code. So I'm yeah, like always everybody up. in now. <laughs> well, <laughs> they were playing on the PS4, and uh, or, or they gave me a code for the PS4 version. I think it's only out on the PS4, or it's only coming out on the PS4, I think, right now. Uh, it is beautiful. Yeah, I don't have any of the other Guilty Gear games. For, I, don't, I don't see it for any other uh, system other than PS4. They made, I mean, I have uh, Guilty Gear Double X Reload uh, for the original Xbox. They have put them out on other systems from time well, no, to I'm time. I'm talking about for current gen. Oh yeah, I think I about I all think the guilty gear games that they come out for current. Gen. I think I it, think it may be uh, maybe PS4 exclusive. Yeah, yeah. But regardless, when they when they like do the stage intros, the camera is like like 
like one stage is like it it starts off focused on like a hawk flying in the sky and then the hawk like comes around and the camera like swoops down around the hawk right through like all these like old school columns and like you see this like you see like a final fantasy 7 remake style world that is the level and then it like flies all the way down into the actual like uh fighting area right because it's like it's uh uh 2d with uh 2d with 3d uh, models and a, a complete 3D world, but the level of detail is just bananas. Uh, is very good. Uh, the um, the uh, the the online play is a little spotty because that's all you can do right now. Uh, there there were some, there were definitely some disconnects. There was some lag, but when it worked, it was good. It was really good. Uh, I was very excited. And uh, one thing that was a little bit weird is. They definitely beefed up the uh, the character models, right? Everyone like took some HGH in like the off season. <laughs> they got a little, they got a little bit brolic, um, which is fine. It just you know it takes a little bit to get used to. But uh, yeah, okay. yeah. So how about you, Dan? What have you been into? I'm, I think I'm gonna sh- I think I'm gonna surprise you right now. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I'm well, gonna surprise you with the next two things I'm gonna tell you. You don't even know this. We haven't talked. About, we we haven't even talked about this off uh, off the off the mics. Mm-hmm. I think you, 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 your jaw's gonna drop. Oh boy! Well, I am prepared. Go ahead. Okay. Now that we know that uh, the Last of Us Part Two has been delayed, games are being delayed left and right. right? Yep. Uh, so that was supposed to come out in May. We don't know if Ghost of Tsushima is still coming out in June. Mm-hmm. But if everything, if no other big game comes out for the next two three months, well, two months. I would have to say Animal Crossing New Horizon would be my half game of the year right now. Animal Crossing. Wow. All right. All right. I That's know. fantastic. It, I mean, it's a, it's essentially a living simulator just that, you know, you're an ant, you know, there's <laughs> animals around you and you're mm-hmm. an island. And it, I already, you know, I'm trying to pay off my mortgage like I am in real life. I've spruced up my house. Uh, I learned how to fish. I'm just I'm going I'm just living my best life on this island. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, every time I every time I say oh, I'm just gonna go in for five minutes and 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 uh, oh no you, know, you 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 can't you can't. I, am, I ended up being in there for like an hour or two hours. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I'm have you really tossed like that? Animal Crossing New Horizons? Never mm-hmm. thought I would ever say that. Maybe no. it's a product of me being home all the time. I mean, it came day. out at the perfect time. It's yeah. the game everybody needed <laughs> for sure. Yeah, ha- still haven't even really touched Doom other than like the first level. To be honest, I haven't gone mm-hmm. back. Oh man! Uh, and oh, Animal man. Crossing took over my life, mm-hmm. and I mm-hmm. and I did the the Easter theme with all those damn eggs. The eggs drove me crazy, and I still couldn't even build the big. Uh, I couldn't big the. I couldn't build the big uh, Easter monument with the with the with all the eggs because there's one type of egg I haven't found. I have no idea where it is. Uh, so that's super driving super me crazy. And it's probably right there in front of me and I can't, and I, I don't know it's there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Listen, listen, I wouldn't fault you if you took it to the internet because that answer is out there, right? Someone's well, I, written a guide, IGN, Game Facts. Well, it's, it's over now. <laughs> it is? Oh, <laughs> Easter Reve- Oh, in limited time. Oh, no. no. I mean, I, built, I, did, I did build a few things, uh, mm-hmm. some Easter theme things to, mm-hmm. to put in my my, my house, uh, but I sort of just left it so at that. So that's it. I mean, I would, you can, you know, it's, it's, so it's only, a, it's only a one-time thing per year, huh? Yeah. It's, uh, right. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the eggs that I have. Yeah, put them really in the house, craft. you know? I can't really craft anything. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll just <laughs> spread them around my house. There you go. <laughs> so I've been playing that. You mm-hmm. want to talk about beating things? Um, I beat for the first time Super Mario World Two Yoshi's Island. For, oh I, I, boy! I, I beat it on Switch Online. Oh boy, that game! That game is nuts. I uh, is I can't tough. even get past the first world. All right. Come on, my friend. You have to get good. Uh, I, that, no, oh, that's you, it. all that's the Yoshi you, games since are easy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Purposely so, right? They're made this, for little kids. But this, this, these are definitely hard. Um, I'm not gonna lie. The rewind feature did come into play uh, when uh, I felt that the death was. See, cheap. there it is. There when, it is. When I felt like the death was mm-hmm. cheap, it came into play. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, it's so easy to collect coins that you have so many lives that you know, when you die and you know it's your fault, you mm-hmm. just die and go back and and, mm-hmm. and and you know beat it. You know, beat beat whatever uh, part you you couldn't beat before. Right. So right. Uh, I had a 
I had a blast with that. Um, I used the SNES uh, control that you get with the Nintendo Switch Online account. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going back to that game ever. <laughs> I just did it just so I I, I, yeah. I, I knew I beat all the quote-unquote Mario World games mm-hmm. for the Super mm-hmm. Nintendo, even yeah. though this was really a Yoshi game. Yeah. It's a great game. Uh, it's a great game. Yeah. I think, well, I'll, I'm not going to spoil it just in case you ever try to go back to it, especially with Nintendo Online where you have the rerun feature. Mm-hmm. Uh, that last, the uh, the boss, Bowser Jr., mm, mm, that's all I'm going to say. That's a, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. that boss. I don't battle, even know what that. I don't even know what that means. That boss battle was a little unfair. That's all oh, I'm okay. Saying. That's what you're trying to say. I, 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 I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know if you were saying like Bowser could get it. Because <laughs> no, that's what that sounded like. He can get. He can get it. Talking about Easter, he can get an egg right to his forehead. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm, you got to do. I'm glad you clarified. All that's right. What you got to do. All right. All right. Clarification uh, is. We're playing Super Mario Maker two. Went in Not- there for some. Uh, Oh, so, nice. You know, listen, I, I hate it when people said that, uh, remember the, the remake, the remaster of uh, the port, not even a remake, not even a remaster, the port from uh, Super Mario Brothers U to the Switch. People are like, oh, just play Mario Maker 2. I don't right. get it because, yeah, you have infinite, uh, you know, Mario levels to play, but the Mario levels are a lot of them. People make it to be like cheap, you know, cheap deaths. Oh, and yeah. it's, it doesn't ease you in it with the actual story of uh good sort of world building you know like level building right like playing like like mario u where it's fair you know you know okay that was your fault you know how to mm-hmm. go back and here i have no idea it's like you see all those little x's the little x's and it'd be like a it'd be like ten thousand x's in this one spot right. and it's like how do you even right. get past that spot right As, it, just... it's not like i can go get a guide to see how to get past it mm-hmm. uh, because mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a it's a homemade level Right, right. That's 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 why that that's why there's a, a thing called Kaizo, right? That's that's the super hard Mario games where you need like super precise precision moves and if you mess up even a micro, even like a like a, a micro inch or just just the tiniest little bit, that's it. It's all over and you got to restart from the beginning. It's terrible. So, yeah, yeah, no, it's 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 a weird. And that reminds me, I need to I need to actually pick up Super uh, Super Mario Brothers U, because I don't own it in any fashion, and that's bad. Not even game. on the Wii U. It's a good game. I beat it on mm-hmm. the Wii U mm-hmm. uh, when it first came out. I mean, it's a good. I think it's a good game, and I beat it again on the Switch. Yeah. Um, yeah. The second thing that will blow your mind. The oh, yeah. second thing that you're gonna your jaw is gonna drop. Oh boy. If I keep down this road, Final Fantasy VII remake may. May may overthrown Animal Crossing for my half game of the year. Oh, surprise! Not surprised. Who who knew? Who would ever thought I would be singing the praises of a Final Fantasy game? Mm -hmm. It's I am I am so happy you're about it, and and it's kind of not surprising because they do a really good job with the storytelling and the characters. Even now, even like even like more so now. Like Seven had very awful translation. And there was a lot of localization problems and it was like, you know, of that time where nobody gave a shit about it or didn't want to put money into it. So it's not surprising, but there there was a really good story. There was a lot of really cool set pieces, right? I know you're big on story, right? You're big on characters and all that. And you just weren't about like the gameplay so much. You weren't about the, the slow turn based and waiting for the gauges to come up and they revamped all of that. So... That's amazing to hear. I'm very happy. Uh, I Definitely still don't know. More own... action. Definitely yeah. more action. Oh, just like Final more Fantasy action. 15, the second mm-hmm. Final Fantasy I ever played in my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are those are definitely the most action y out of any of them. 7 and 15 are, are like number one and number two. Um, 12 is a little bit like that, um, but you do have to set up a lot of stuff ahead of time. There's a real like. Yeah, there's there's a whole like complex thing because you can only control one one uh, person at a time, so you have to give everybody else all these damn like uh, commands. Like if if you're in this situation, do this, and if you're in this situation, do this, which is like okay, but it's not it's not great. But um, yeah, no, no, that's that's uh, that's uh, fantastic. When I get my copy, because I'm trying to get the special edition, uh, I will be right there on board with you, hundred percent. Oh, the game is the game. Once you pass that demo stage, mm-hmm. right, mm-hmm. the bombing and run, actually, yeah. and you actually, you know, get back to the slums or the slum village or the the, the housing, oh, yeah. it just, 
I've been so caught up doing I've, I'm about five and a half hours in right now doing so many side quests just mm-hmm. to build up my reputation mm-hmm. um, you know I, I'm not gonna lie it's always a little cumbersome dealing with potions and power-ups and upgrades and 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 stuff like that that's always a little cumbersome because it's like well how you know do I need this or how do I use this or mm-hmm. you know do I mix these and you know those are the things I'm not big on. Really, just give me the sword and get out of my way, right? Yeah, or- yeah. Well, it 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 also takes a little time to get into the mechanics of it, right? Because they 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 give you there's a big info dump in the beginning. They tell you, you know, here's your weapons, here's how to equip materia, here's how to um, here's how to use uh uh, uh summons, um, you know, here's how to use items. Uh, you know, weapons, attacks, whatever. There, there's like, there's like a lot. But once, once you get like, once you get a couple more hours into it, it'll just be second nature, you know. And then, it, I had to get used to not jumping. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh again, yeah. You, you, you always, you know, you, you're used to just, you know, jumping. That's like the, that's like the most common mechanic in any game. Mm-hmm. In this game, you don't jump. Nope. So, nope. Think of it. Uh, think of it like Zelda. That's not Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Yeah, right. no, no, that's a, that, that's a good uh, that's a good comparison. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I got you know I got lost in the story where I, I even forgot about jumping. So yeah, <laughs> yeah and, nice. And action is nice. always around the corner. So uh. it's 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 not too much story. And I mean you know, and one of the reasons why I'm not, I was never a big RPG fan, I, you know, back when I was younger, is because I got tired of reading the 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 boxes. Just oh sure, reading sure. and reading, reading it's a lot of dialogue. Voice yeah, acting yeah. is fantastic here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, my only real issue is the NPCs are still sort of generic and not looking at you and their mouth is moving, mm. but it's, it doesn't, it doesn't fit the dialogue that they're saying. Right. And hopefully right. in next gen, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that next gen, cause everyone's talking about this, the open world and next gen, all the rumors are open world and next gen are, are so much better. Uh, so much vast, so much detail. I hope the detail mm-hmm. is going into the NPCs as well to where they don't just look generic. And, you know, I'm talking to a mannequin that's mouth is moving. Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's like kind of always a problem because I, I think like one of the things too, and they, they've always done this in Final Fantasy, is that they'll make the NPCs less detailed, like visually, uh, because the hardware is only so good. And I think that kind of goes into like, like you know, the next gen, the next gen horsepower, right? And you have a, have a much better CPU, GPU, a lot more RAM, uh, faster hard drives. So, you know, I think, I think they're going to be able to like kind of achieve on that. Speaking of speaking of speaking of like Final Fantasy though, like sixteen has to be in the early production phases, right? They gotta they gotta be planning some stuff out for next gen. So, well, I would I would assume they have two teams working on uh, mm-hmm. maybe the next gen, you know, the next gen Final Fantasy in the series sixteen, mm-hmm. and then also part two of Final Fantasy VII remake. That that is that is that is that is also in high gear. Uh, I'm hoping next year. I'm hoping 2021 and then 2022 for the final one, but uh, oh, I definitely we'll see. No way, no, no way, no way, no how. I don't know. They have they have the engine, the engines in place. They have a lot of the assets and and whatever's ready. Twenty, like, I, I, I would say the next game is 2021 at the earliest. 2021. I mean, uh, 20, 2022. Sorry, two years away. At the earliest. Oof. I would almost make a bet. That you were wrong. I, I mean, it's not going to really matter because people are going to love it no matter when it comes out. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's going to be next year. All right. Why don't we take a break? Mm-hmm. We'll come back. We're into the top gaming news of last week. This is Justin from the Lit Gaming Arena podcast, and you're listening to Rated G for Gamers. And we're back. All right. Let's get into the top gaming news of last week. We have to start with Microsoft and the big rumor that Microsoft is secretly planning two, not one, but two exclusive digital events in Mm -hmm. May Mm -hmm. to reveal Mm -hmm. the full plans, price, and upcoming games that you could play in the future for the Xbox Series X. Yep. Yeah. This this would be in lieu of any e3 because we all know that's 
Well, done. this would have been the E3 event, but they, you know, exactly. they're making it all digital. Yeah. And they're not going to, Phil, Phil Spencer's not going to be on stage. They're not going to be at the Microsoft Theater in LA. Yep. Th- this will be in lieu of that. Yes. Right. So they'll do probably like an inside Xbox style presentation, maybe with like a lot more flair, but it'll be all digital, right? You'll get, you'll get your Phil Spencer fill. You'll get your whoever fill. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean they're gonna give you they're gonna give you a bunch of stuff that you will not be able to get hands on with because how are they gonna do that? But you will get info, right? Um, well, the, it's interesting how they wanted to. You know, why would they do like the report is they're gonna do two digital events. So one mm-hmm. is to focus on the hardware, everything that we already know, and some things that we don't know. Sort of, you know, more. Uh, uh, sort of the perks of the machine and sure like that features um, os and all that maybe like yeah here's what the, yeah because we yeah because we don't know how the os is gonna look no no we, we have we have no look at the dashboard yet so so uh that and and they would end it with uh an exclusive clip of halo infinite right mm. um and then the next digital event is all the upcoming games that are in the works not coming out uh, at the launch of the Xbox Series X, but sort of uh, what's what's in the hopper, what's in the oven, what's in right. the works. And, and the rumor is they've bought another studio, and that will be also in that second, in that, that second uh, digital event. Mm-hmm. So here's, here's, the, uh, here's, the, uh, here's, the, here's the question. Do you think any of the studios that they've already, the 12 or so that they already purchased, are going to have any fruit to bear in these presentations yes but it would be um also well the the rumor is the that that second direct well that second uh, digital event mm-hmm. would be headlined with uh the new fable game that that they're you know that they're in work they're working on oh yeah yeah so maybe it'll be finally maybe it'll finally be good <laughs> uh yeah it'll be good since the first and second one oh, um, my God, third one that's much. anyway we're not gonna get down that road but oh. uh yeah, I think they will have lots of of games that you know they're working on, but nothing will be coming out soon. It will all be down the line. Yeah, yeah. So Halo, Halo at launch is big, right? That was the that was the game that really made the original Xbox. Halo was, and you could only get it on uh, on like on like Xbox um, for at least a year or two, and then it came to PC, you know, and and it did. It, it it did well, but it was like crazy. You get sixteen people to play online and this and that. Everybody loves Master Chief. Uh, everybody loves the franchise. Three four three has been doing great with it. That is a good game to get out the gate with. That's probably going to be the only exclusive game on the Xbox, right? Which uh, is well, that and I would assume uh, Forza. Uh, Forza too, yeah. But we haven't heard anything else just yet. On, no, on I would like, I would say those would be the two games. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think you can still, if, if memory serves me correctly, uh, like a few months ago, uh, there was an Xbox executive that did say that uh, Halo will be coming out on Xbox Xbox One X and Xbox Series X. They won't have actual any exclusive games at launch. Oh, uh, that's really? Just because they wanted to bridge the gap between yeah. console uh, generations, right? Right, so. right. Which is which is. Which is good from a, it's good from a community standpoint that like you're kind of recognizing the the uh, the fans and they're like, look, we hear you, you know, we we want to make sure that you know you can play all your games, um, you can play all the new games on on if you have last last gen hardware and current gen hardware, and that if and when you do get the new system, that we got you on the backwards compatibility, right? That is that is kind of nice to see because. Sony, uh, for for reasons, you know, obvious reasons because of the architecture of the PS3, couldn't necessarily just say, well, you can play all PS3 games on the PS4. It's not that easy. Completely different architecture. So it's a different kind of thing. Um, they, I guess, I guess Sony is saying that with the PS4 uh, games, right? You can play the PS4 games on your PS5. There'll be backwards compatibility, but there's no talk of like 3, 2, or 1 just yet. So, eh we'll see but yeah i don't well, know speaking of the ps5 mm-hmm. uh there are reports out there that sony uh is going to put out a limited uh supply of ps5 consoles 
Uh, for various reasons, one of the one of the reasons is uh, you know the PS the PS5 parts. Some of the parts are really cost costly, right? Yes, and they're, they're getting it from China. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's it's you know because of that. Also because you know just people in this climate that we're in right now, they don't know, they just don't know how to market the PS5 right now because mm-hmm. of the climate we're in. Um, you know, they're sort of revamping their marketing strategy. Also, they don't think people will be willing to spend uh, upwards to four to f- uh, five to six hundred dollars on this console, which the, seems like it would be around that price range. I'm still hope I'm still hoping they'll drop the price to four ninety nine. Uh, uh, the report yeah. says that they will have about two million units less than they did the PS4 at launch. Right. Um, I think. Which, I if think... you remember that launch, PS4s were selling out like crazy. You couldn't find them anywhere. They were. They were. I, I uh, and they, they were also a hundred dollars cheaper than uh, Microsoft's console, right? It was yes, five versus four. Microsoft right? Microsoft bundled the Connect, right? Which was oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a that was a bungled launch, uh, leading up to it and after the launch, uh, it was it was insane. Um, I I think I think I think you said it right. Um, you know, they don't know if people are going to have disposable income to buy the new system. So why flood the market? And then you have all these systems out there. It's kind of a bad look, right? You know, you want you want people to be able to get it. But if no one's going to be able to afford it because they don't have a job right now, that kind of makes sense. Right. Yeah. I just uh, I just hope they're accurate in their numbers so that everybody who wants one can get one and that it's not like, well, you can't get them. You know, well, I will say this: this just means when they actually do announce it, mm-hmm. it's time to pre-order it. Hell yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> pre-order it. Uh, we 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 did say we were going to do a midnight launch. Uh, yeah, kind of wait outside and all that. I would yeah. still love to do that, but uh, pre-order it if I can. <laughs> right, right, exactly. So. Well, yeah, you pre-order it, pre-order it, and have it shift as opposed to pre-order it and pick it up. <sighs> Uh yeah well yeah I'm not I'm not I'm definitely not going to pick it up I'm gonna have it pre-ordered to have it shipped uh yeah. hopefully on Amazon or yeah. Best Buy mm-hmm. so uh I just because to be on the safe side because you don't know if these things are going to be in short supply and sell out right and yeah. Yeah, we yeah. have no idea where the world is going to be you know dealing with the zombie apocalypse when you know whenever these release maybe October November or December mm-hmm. do we really want to be waiting in line with other people. <laughs> at that point right uh, that's that's the uh, thing that's the thing we 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 don't know and the the answer is probably probably not i mean i would i would love to say yes let's go out and brave the cold put our hats on and gloves and uh make it happen but uh so i don't know um just a, as a follow-up for the last like two shows we talked mm-hmm. about i've talked about this and we finally got an answer yeah. um because of the zombie apocalypse it has forced San Diego Comic Con to uh, can't for them to cancel San Diego Comic Con. So that's not happening. I am I'm glad they came to their senses, right? And they read the tea leaves. They 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 saw the environment, the climate, and uh, yeah. Or I mean, maybe they did this out of you know the goodness of their heart and see that they should, uh, you know, help, you know, sort of keep social distancing at that mm-hmm. point right so to stop the spread of the zombie yeah. apocalypse or maybe and we talked about this before san diego comic-con is all about movies and tv shows right and maybe if the actors said nah i'm good all the actors <laughs> didn't want to show up so they said well what's the point of having it if we can't have if- our big uh, stars here to show off right 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 yeah i guess that's i guess that's also that's also a big factor too uh plus plus everything is in like halted in production right so that kind of pushes things off Right. You know, you're not going to go and whip up a trailer for a movie that's obviously been delayed. (laughs) Maybe they just couldn't whip up a trailer because no one was there to whip it up. (laughs) Or that, too. Right. And everyone's kind of working from home, makes it a little hard to do the collaboration. Sure. Sure. So, I mean, Batman. um, You mean the Batman? Well, the Batman. Batman. They said they were uh, (laughs) they only shot 25 percent of the movie. They right. were supposed to be at this point. They were supposed to be at least uh, seventy to eighty percent done. Oh, that's not they only now. shot about uh, twenty to twenty five percent. So was that coming you know, out this year? I forget. Uh, no, I think it was coming out next year. So, next year, okay. Uh, if okay. if if it resumed, I think they still pushed that date back though. I don't think it's right. going to come out. Uh, probably the, the original date. Probably pushed it back to holiday of next year. All right. Um, 
And following suit, Gamescom has officially uh, been canceled, and they will oh, do yeah. a digital-only event. That is kind of interesting because Gamescom was sort of like a, a PAX a PAX show on steroids, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's really a mm-hmm. fan event with some announcement, not really a lot of announcements. Xbox, uh, well, I should say Microsoft, always shows up at Gamescom for the most mm-hmm. part. Uh, you know, Sony doesn't historically because Tokyo Game Show is like two weeks after thing. that. Yeah, right? yeah. And they're a Japanese so, company. It, it, it makes sense. Yeah. So, um, you know, this is, again, a glorified f- uh, show for the fans with mm-hmm. some announcements. I mean, they do get a lot of indie announcements as well. Mm-hmm. So it'd be curious to see if, you know, sort of like Microsoft, like we said, X- Microsoft is always there with Xbox stuff. Maybe mm-hmm. they have some games that they know that they want to put the games past at some point, you know, soon, right? Around like September, or mm-hmm. maybe there's a game, you know, they leave one game, mid-tier game that they want to announce. Maybe they still will do it in a digital event in conjunction with Gamescom, right? Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of. Because like, if 90% of your thing is like hands-on, you know, it's it's probably going to have to be scaled back a bit, even if, like, Microsoft steps up and says, all right, here we got some stuff we can announce at the Gamescom Digital Conference or whatever it is, or Gamescom Digital uh, Presentation, right? Because, it's, you know, it's going to be a YouTube thing with a bunch of videos or whatever, right? Everyone's going to put their own – maybe they'll put it in one giant package and it's a big two-hour thing. Like, you know, we're still going to watch it. We're still going to still going to see what comes out of it, but – I don't know. I think it's. I think it's going to be severely pared back, right? It's going to be like 30, 40 minutes. I mean, yeah. I don't think yeah. they're going to have a lot of announcements, right? Um, you know, whatever the mid tier game that one of the the big the big guys, Nintendo, or uh, I don't think I don't think Sony, but Nintendo or Microsoft have would be sort of the drop the mic moment at the end of the conference, right? Mm-hmm. You know, it won't be a Halo level type of game, but it, it would be sort of like a astral chain new new astral chain game from uh platinum games or something oh maybe yeah. Nintendo. yeah 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 sunset so, overdrive 2 calling it now that would be sony <laughs> since sony owns the studio well <laughs> uh, you know maybe maybe they had it in the works that in the works for a little bit so they they have to they have to obligate their uh contract <laughs> uh you can only hope yeah yeah so e3 is done esrb has canceled yep. e3 2020 they are fast at work trying to revamp e3 2021 which they've already announced dates for in june um we'll see if anybody actually shows up <laughs> that that would be curious to see <laughs> uh, once all of the zombie apocalypse clears up and next year see how uh you know companies fare doing digital events now they probably think hey we could probably you know keep this going and so save a lot of money yeah we could save a lot of money but the srb uh, you know, do you think they're twirling their thumbs in 2020? No, they announced a new ratings label uh, for loot boxes that will be on video games. So if you have any loot boxes in your game, that will be on the box. It will say in-game purchases included random items. Wait, 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 wait! Stop the presses! You mean to tell me the ESRV is doing something right? It took them long enough. <laughs> it it did. Long enough it did. And I'm sure all of the, I'm sure all of the uh, uh, game producers, right, the publishers and whatnot, I'm sure they were stomping their feet, saying, "No, no, no, this is bad for business. We can't have this." I mean, I can only assume, right? Because you're basically putting a big, you're putting a, a a warning on there, saying, "Hey, like you, you may have to buy some stuff to get the most out of this game, right?" That's that's really what really what the rating is saying and it's it's letting you know that well you know well it's either that or we make it illegal ah, yeah yeah well i mean that that is also going through the motions and being passed through legislation so i mean obviously well, put, everything is put on halt because of the zombie apocalypse but you well, know put, belgium put, put it this put it this belgium, way when you, buy, when you buy an app on yeah google google play store or, or uh, itunes right on apple on apple store mm-hmm. it tells you this app has in in uh, app purchases. Yeah, and they've they they've they've had that for at least the last two years, right? That's 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 been a thing. It's been a badge on there, and like all the games had to had to have that message on there, which is good. You know, it 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 definitely helps. It still isn't going to stop people from doing it, right? Uh, publishers are still going to do it. They're they're you know they're going to force the developers to put mechanics in there that makes it. 
more likely that someone will, you know, purchase the uh, the whatever, the 199 skin or the two times XP loot or whatever, you know, because that's still going to happen. But it, but at least we're now a little bit more aware of it. Hopefully the parents are aware of it when they when they buy the game for the kid and, and realize that, well, there could be extra charges in there and the kid kid may be tugging on the parents uh, jacket to be like, hey, I got to buy this gun to like play this game effectively. Help me out. Let me buy this gun. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's but it's it's good news. It's good news. I'll say that. Well, you know what else is good news? <laughs> well, you know you know what game won't have uh, that new that new loot box label on it. I I don't. WWE 2K21 because oh. it's officially canceled. Oh, it will not be happening. This is the first time in I don't know since 2012. I want to say 2011, okay. 2012. Okay. That we won't be getting a WWE 2K game. Huh. Wow. But we may be getting we may be getting a different type of game in the mm-hmm. works. Uh, they did say that there might be uh, an alternative WWE game, so it won't be an actual wrestling simulator. Maybe it'll be a beat 'em up or something. Some of those, you know, along those lines. I hope it's something oh, different. Sure. I want something different. Mm-hmm. The last couple of games haven't been so well the last game just sucked all 2020 entirely was, and that's was, shouldn't have ever that, come out you know ukes uh you know sort of left the fold and uh they had another studio just you know continue developing on it and they didn't do a good job mm-hmm. um so you know and then two years ago they had the the game 28 uh 2k18 on the switch and that that game was just uh definitely piss poor mm-hmm. so uh, they definitely need to take a break, go back to the drum board to make a really good game. But I'm curious to see what type of alternative wrestling game we would get. Right, right. So, so you think you think this is a good idea then, too, right? I think, you know, I mean, obviously, a lot of they're doing this, you know, for a lot of reasons. I mean, you know, the zombie apocalypse. I don't. It's sad that they had to have this be the catalyst for them to cancel it. But yeah. I am glad that they canceled it. Yeah, same. Same. I, I like to see what the new studio can do. Hopefully they're doing it from the ground up, right? Because there was a lot of patchwork and a lot of whatever, just layers and layers and layers each WWE game put on top of the last. And it's a lot of like, you know, the the foundation was a little rickety. As, as, as much as I love Ukes and all that, like the deadlines were crazy. It was a yearly release. They were rushing to get it out, just like, just like Madden and whatnot. And, you know, it leads to a lot of cut corners and... And then Ukes is finally like, we can't take this anymore. We're out. And yeah, it's trash. So. Well, fingers crossed on Ukes making an AEW game. A really right? good one. Hopefully. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, we talked about that a couple months ago. AEW is doing gangbusters, I think. Uh, I keep seeing clips online. It it, uh, it it seems really good. The production value is high. You know, they definitely have money behind it. Uh, well, I could see I could see an AEW game. As a side note, mm-hmm. you know, I love wrestling. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, you know, I just want to say, you know, uh, my heart goes out to all the wrestlers that uh, WWE released and all the uh, workers that were furloughed uh, this week by WWE. Um, everybody's a little up in arms, a little, you know, looking at looking at Vince McMahon a little bit sideways because they because they're not doing house shows and they're not running a big pro- uh, production live show with Raw, SmackDown, NXT every week. They're actually saving money and and and. They're, they're they're making a lot of money through the TV revenue and they're saving mm-hmm. money but not spending it. So they didn't technically need to furlough anyone, especially in times where people need to, you know, security, right? Right. So, you know, they're getting kind of some negative press going on right now. Amongst other things I won't get into because we're not mm-hmm. a wrestling podcast, but I just want to mm-hmm. say, you know, my heart goes out to everybody who lost their jobs. Yeah, no, uh, 100%. For right now. 100%. But let's shift gears to a game that is universally loved and maybe looked at as the maybe one of the best or the best Resident Evil game. That's Resident Evil Four, and the and the reports are that we may be getting a remake, not a remaster, <sighs> but a remake. Just like Resident Evil Two got a full on remake, and Resident Evil oh Three got a remake. We may get a Resident Evil Four remake. Oh in the works for next gen console. We've already had two remasters already. They made a Wii port with the motion motion controls and then they and then they and then they did it again to put it on current gen consoles right they did that with four five and six 
Yeah, it's, but it's also the on the Switch now. Res- the remake, the remake would be on PS5 and Xbox One, uh, Xbox Series X. I Those just, consoles are going to need the Resident just, Evil 4 game to play. I just, I don't see it, considering you can play it on current hardware. And if if the reports from Microsoft and Sony are correct, you'll be able to play your PS4 and Xbox uh, Xbox One games on the Series X and the PS5, so you can still play the game. It still looks pretty good. Ah, I, I just, I just don't think it's necessary. Well, if that's the case, then then don't buy Resident Evil Seven Remake. You already have Resident Evil Seven that you can play on PlayStation Four. Oh, you talking? Out, you mean you mean you mean Final Fantasy Seven? Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah, that is a then that is a drastic difference. Well, the point is, I don't know if you re- put them side remake by side. It and add new things with new visuals. New oh, mechanics. I know, I know. Mechanics I know. are kind of still old, mid two thousand mechanics, right? So they'll put modern mechanics. They'll remake it with new. Yeah, areas, that game is that visuals. game is perfect. You don't need to change anything in that game. That game is perfect. The little over the shoulder third person camera. Yes. Oh well, well, I think I think one thing is true. Mm-hmm. No matter what they do, I'm probably still not going to play it. <laughs> yeah, no, it it is it is the start of the more actiony Resident Evils though. Well, I guess I guess three was too a little bit. They added in like a dodge mechanic, and it was a little more like a little bit more run and gunny. Uh, four continued that with kind of the over the shoulder. It's no longer tank controls. So yeah, but yeah, I mean, you really need to get to like six before it turns well, into a full on like run well, and people gun. People really wanted a Code Veronica remake. Right, sure. Or a remaster uh, sure. or something because that game is stuck on the Dreamcast right now. Uh it, they they did make it for the PS2 as well. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's, yeah, well, it's stuck, but it's stuck in that generation hardware. It is. Yeah, it is. It is definitely very old. That definitely could use for a bump for sure. So, speaking of well, you know, if that's the case, speaking of uh series that people love, the Arkham Knight series. People love the Arkham Knight series. I love the original um, Arkham City was it was good. Arkham Knight, eh, didn't really love the Batmobile. <laughs> now, uh, WB has been teasing. This has been the worst kept secret. They're, they've been teasing a new Batman game. Uh, we think it would be the Quarter Owls, uh, yep. based on a novel, uh, a Batman novel, which mm-hmm. is fantastic. If you haven't read it, you should go read it. I think it's. I'm I'm looking forward to it. However, it won't be just a retread of the Arkham series. It would be a refresh of the series. Okay, so it won't it won't be the same Arkham games that we know and love. Uh, they're going to spruce it up a little bit. Now, oh. it doesn't give details on how they would make that happen. I mean, it will be a fresh start with this game. Now, I would love to see some other characters introduced, right? Maybe some lesser known characters, uh, but most importantly, maybe not take place in Gotham City. I I know, I know, I know. Don't 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 come out. Wow. With the you spares. want you want like a full you want like Batman of the Tropics? What's going on here? Hey, Batman on the beach. Who knows? Batman, Batman, Batman beach, in Hawaii. Yeah. No, uh, I, I think I think that would be really interesting if they did it right, right? Like, take him out of... Because I don't think I've ever seen him outside of Gotham. Not in I don't, video games. I can't think of him in the video games. I mean, has he has he even... Has he ever been outside of Gotham in, like, any other medium? Well, the TV shows, not the video games. Comics, you know? I mean, it would be nice if he went to Metropolis, sort of a tease of a, spy, of a Superman game, if they, you know, were even working on one. Oh sure, but, sure. Which which but yeah, maybe that, that maybe nice maybe do this. You know, we 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 haven't been in a bat wing, right? Mm-hmm. So we haven't been in you know, that could be a new something new, fresh that you could bring in there. Bat wing. Mm-hmm. Um maybe start in Gotham City just because it's a familiar place for people to start. And then you have to investigate, you know, the crime syndicate, the quarter owls, and they're not based in Gotham, they're somewhere else. I mean the Dark mm-hmm. Knight. You remember he went to Japan to capture uh, some high-level criminal, right? When he left Gotham, so oh, it's, yeah. it's not unprecedented. Okay, okay. true, that, true. That maybe we can have a sort of a switch of scenery. Don't mess with the mechanics. Though. The mechanics are down. You know, oh, they're perfect. fantastic. The mechanics. Yeah, just just improve upon them. Do not do not like completely throw them out and start fresh. I would say I would say I'm a little bit more excited now and scared at the same yeah. time because they could I mean, get it's, this so it's, wrong. So, so Rocksteady's not doing it though, right? WB is doing it. WB is doing it, right? And WB objectively did the worst out of the out of the four games. They did they did uh, they did Origins, which was a fine game, but it was not as good as City Asylum or or Night in this case. Well, they did um, Origins, they did Blackgate, and they did the DLC for Night. Oh, they did. Oh, okay, okay. 
The DLC was pretty good. I'll give them that. So I'm looking, um, again, I'm excited and scared at the same time. I hope they do something really good. I want to explore some other characters. I mean, especially if you're going with the Quarter Owls. Uh, that's not widely known to the public, right? You have to be, I, you know. In, I, I didn't in know the, anything uh, about them until that until that uh, tweet came up. Yeah, so, you know, like, to maybe do something like that. Maybe bring some other lesser-known characters into the fold as well mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. to help them out. Um, you're talking about, like, villain-wise or both? Superhero you know, wise. I mean, obviously, okay. the head villain of the Court of Owls maybe throw a twist on there or with a with – a, don't make it the Joker. <laughs> Just don't make it the Joker. <laughs> yeah. Like, or- they already Spoilers, did the Joker. If you ever played Origins, they said the Joker wasn't in the game, but the Joker was in the game. <laughs> Oh my god, it's ridiculous. He was in the first one. You took him down on the first one. I mean, Jesus. I know. So uh just don't have him don't please don't have the Joker in this. Yeah, do, no, do something no, else. No. Uh you can have a you can have references to the Joker. That makes sure. sense, right? Sure. Don't I don't want to see the Joker in this game. Yeah, right. But that is a rumor. The Resident Evil game is a rumor. The new Batman game is still a rumor. Nothing's mm-hmm. been confirmed. Mm-hmm. But we did get something confirmed uh, this week, and that's Cryotech announced Crisis Remastered will be releasing this summer Ooh. on PC, PS4, Xbox Ooh. One, and oh, hold, wait for it. Uh huh. The Switch. Nice. Did you did you ever play uh, the original Crisis or any of the Crisis games? I have all three Crisis games. I've uh-huh. never played. Oh, they are they are fantastic. Well, at least I don't th- I don't think I've played them. Mm-hmm. There was a there well, was a long. I, I, I've probably played the first one a long time ago. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. I mean, that was mm-hmm. like mid two thousand, right? There was a there was a long running joke, but can it play Crisis? Because Crisis was like such a demanding game at the time. Like it required a crazy PC to like to run it like decently. Uh, but it was it was beautiful if you had the equipment to run it. My God, that game was like just insane. Uh, and just very, think about it. it. It'll be on the Switch. Yeah, yeah. Very, very, very happy about this. I mean, the game is from like 2007, right? So it's like 13 years old, right? Right now, 2006, 2007. Uh, and it was, it was, it was definitely a beast at the time. So I, I don't think it'll be a problem running on the Switch. Obviously, it's not going to look as good as the, you know, the PC or Xbox version or whatnot. But um, I think it'll, I think it'll be. I think it'll be pretty good. Definitely going to get it for the PC. If if you're going to ask. I know you're going to ask, Dan. I'm going to get it for the PC. Oh, you got to get it for the Switch. <laughs> well, if I get a physical edition, I'll definitely buy it. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, hopefully they so do that, a physical. Hopefully they so do. So that's, that's up in the air that if, mm-hmm. if, if this is going to be released physical. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I mean, we bought we both bought Streets of Rage 4. Uh, we pre-ordered it from Limited Run. Yes, we did. Uh, on, P, on a PS4, but it just got a release date. It's coming out April 30th officially. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's soon. That's, that's soon. soon. That's next week. So hopefully, hopefully, and and then we'll play it in August when we actually get our limited run game. Right, right. So another game that's actually coming out on the side note, another game that's coming out on the Switch, uh, that is um, War World Z. And, and those come from the same people who ported uh, The Witcher to the Switch. They said War World Z is the hardest game they've ever had to port to the switch <sighs> there's a lot of zombies i mean you know it's a zombie apocalypse game uh, but there are a lot of zombies running around so maybe yeah, too I, many for the switch to handle i, I maybe yeah i mean it, it is like it is like legit hordes and hordes of zombies coming after you like it's just pick up a weapon mow down zombies move on to the next point like you know it's it's left for dead but it's it's a more up-to-date left for dead graphic wise so yeah, yeah. Dave, hopefully, all I hopefully, have to hopefully say it turns is, out. Yeah. In the zombie apocalypse, you better not leave me for dead. I will not leave you, Dan, brother. Dan, I got you. I got you. I would never do that. I would never do that, Dan. Uh, all right. Well, speaking of the switch, <laughs> we got it. We got a new firmware update uh, that came out uh, last weekend. Hmm. I was hoping that we would get folders. I wanted to make folders for the homepage because you yeah. just need it. It just, yes, it just, it's you annoying like, that it just keeps pushing it back and forth, back and forth. I mean, right. what year are we in? We can we do folders. Stuff. You know, why can't we customize our UI? Why can't we customize the UI? That just doesn't make any sense. I, I, they yeah, can it, make a killing with like uh, Animal Crossing UI or a Mario themed or Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild 2 come out, you better, there better be an update to you can customize your UI and make it a Breath of the Wild 2 mm-hmm. theme, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, look, uh, PlayStation uh, is is well. Sony is releasing like um, Persona uh, uh, skins for uh, the UI on the PS4. Oh, that sure. Persona Royals out. 
Yeah, Sony Sony is great with those with those uh, themes. I got a ton of them. But Hold on. the main thing in the update that you can do, this is the major thing you can do is uh, customize. You can buy a button map, customize oh, yeah. your buttons. Yeah. It makes sense when, you know, A is in a different position than uh, sort of, uh, you know, A or X on a PlayStation or mm-hmm. Xbox controller. Mm-hmm. So you just sort of map it to be the same, right? Mm-hmm. If that's what you're used to. Uh, it's something I'm probably not going to do, but it's good to know that it's there, that I can do it if I want to. In the yeah, because it, 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 it takes you a second when you go from Xbox, PlayStation to the Switch, because they, they always flip it, right? A is B, B is A, in terms of what you think the button should do. So it it always like throws me for a loop, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it's Nintendo. They always do things differently. <laughs> I forgot what game it is, what game it was. I mean, it's it's it was a long time ago, mm-hmm. and... To jump, you had to hit triangle. Oh. Who the hell wants to hit triangle to jump when we we already said X uh, is to jump? Yeah, like or or square. Why, why would have to hit? Tri- I forgot what game it was. I'm gonna uh, uh, it's gonna kill me. I can't. I just remember. Yeah, no, I, I just remember saying there, to myself huh? when I was younger, I was like, I'm not playing this game. Mm-hmm. This is stupid. It was an original PlayStation game. I think it was either on a PlayStation One or PlayStation Two. Um, and I just remembered that, and I'm just like, that's stupid. And if I can mm-hmm. button map, I would have button map that crap and put it down to X. <laughs> mm-hmm. There, there is also it is also fair to note here that uh, they basically data mine the new update, and they found they 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 found some mentions of new hardware, NX dash A B C D, right? A a a possible nod to a Switch Pro or a or a new Switch version. Uh, coming in the works, all right? Because like NX, NX, A, B, C, D, it may just be placeholder or whatever else, but that's mention of a, a hardware revision that we haven't heard before, all right? So uh, is a possibility, you know, we may, get, well, we may get one with a better chip and 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 more RAM and better storage and better resolution on yeah. the screen, yeah, right. uh, possibly possibly 4K or yeah. or like 1080P on the go. Well, that's going to be a long ways out because they can't even sell regular switches right now. <laughs> yep. Regular switches are scarce right now. People, people, people are, I never thought I would see, since the launch at least, switches be being uh, scalped on eBay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, right? Prices it's of switches crazy. on eBay are going up um, because they just can't produce them right now. And funny enough, Nintendo stock has soared because of the Switch demand. And, but... No switch, no problem. You know why? Because you got the 3DS and PS4 have been selling like hotcakes in uh, Japan because they can't find a switch. They can't buy a switch, so you buy the next best thing, a 3DS. Right, right. Which which has pushed the 3DS prices up as well. They're, they're up by like thirty bucks, right. American U.S. dollars at least. Right. I bet. I bet. I bet Sony has to be kicking themselves right now because they stopped production on the uh, on the uh, Vita. No, I don't think so. I mean, they're pretty happy with them. I'm sure they're pretty happy with people buying PS4s. Uh, Even well, sure, sure. And a lot. And, uh, and I, I actually I read an inside uh, business uh, inside article mm-hmm. where it seems that a lot of people are buying it really not for the games, but for uh, for the streaming apps because like my like I have Disney like I just got Disney Plus right. Mm-hmm. I don't have a Disney Plus app on my cable box or my TV, so right. I have to download it. I have to download the app on my Xbox, my PlayStation, or my phone, or my or my or my or my tablet to watch right. Disney Plus. It's just not readily available on my TV or cable box like Netflix is. Huh. Yeah, I guess I guess that's I guess that's right. You know, a couple hundred bucks get you a very uh, capable system that you could also play games on if you if you kind of felt inclined. But um, yeah, and 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 to reiterate too, I will say that watching and using like uh streaming apps or any any app for that reason on a uh like dedicated uh game console is much better uh tvs don't necessarily have the best processors so it can be like a little bit laggy you know the input's not great but i do it because it's just built into the tv i don't have to like boot up the game uh, console like it's good enough that i can get by with it but it's uh, yeah it's much better on like a PS4. I've definitely experienced the lag uh, with the Netflix app on my TV, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Which is why now I go through the cable box oh, instead right. of the actual television. Mm-hmm. 
but I, I definitely agree with you. I mean, I, I haven't seen any really, I haven't seen any lag using the uh, plus uh, through the PS4. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's a it's a huge beefy console. Like it's 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 a it's a straight up like PC, right? It's got that kind of power to it. Yeah, the TV is not so much. Like they're engineered to to kind of do this one thing. So yeah, that's interesting. But uh, yeah, folks, I think uh, I think that'll about that'll about do it. That is uh, episode two fifteen in the books. Uh, we want to thank you guys again for uh, sticking with us and uh, staying indoors and downloading the episode and listening and liking and commenting and uh, doing all the good stuff that you do. And if you want to interact with us, and we know you do, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Rated G for Gamers. Uh, please, if you have a minute, go check out our uh, Patreon, patreon.com slash Rated G for Gamer. Uh, $1 goes a long way, uh, and we would greatly appreciate it. Uh, also, we are part of the Gaming Podcast Alliance, so check out all of the fine podcasts featured on there if you're looking for more gaming goodness at gamingpodcastalliance.com. So, please listen, like, rate, review, and subscribe. And as always... Keep gaming.